Hello everybody and welcome to episode four of Bytes of Azure. This episode we are going to move or show you how to move a subscription from one directory to another directory. Now please note this doesn't um, affect the bidding relationships and the bidding relationship for that subscription stays the same, but you actually do move that subscription from one directory to another one so you can combine directories in one place, for example. To do that, what I've done is I've set up uh, or I have uh, a number of subscriptions um, associated to different directories. So at the moment, I'm going to move this subscription, which is my IBM one. Um, so this Visual Studio Enterprise subscription here, I'm going to move that from the IBM directory to the Microsoft Cloud Block directory, which is over here. Uh, and so and this is actually has already got two subscriptions associated to it. So there's this one I call shared services and this one I called workflows. So we're going to move that Visual Studio subscription into this one. Um, for me, this is a really useful piece because it means that instead of having all these dotted subscriptions all over the place, I could actually move them all onto one um, directory and manage it from one place. So anyway, to do that, I just need to go into the subscription here. Now also you can do it via the subscriptions here, you go through the recently accessed items, you can search for it or get it from the blade. Um, but as it's already handy here, I'm just going to click on that. And when that loads up, you'll notice that in the top menu here, you've got this option that says change directory. OK, so we select that and you basically get a drop down box here. Now it's important to note, which I should have said beforehand, that the directory that you're moving has to have a user account in both the source directory and the target directory. So obviously my IBM account here is part of this directory now, but I've added it as a guest account into the other directory as well. Um, so if I go into here, just pop into users, for example, uh, wherever users has gone, I'll go from there. You'll see that in here, um, and I just drag that across a little bit extra. You'll see there's my IBM account that's been added as a guest user in here. And that needs to happen. Without that, you can't see the, the directory to, to send that subscription to. Let me just minimize that for a second. Now, from here, we're just going to need to select that uh, Microsoft Cloud Blog directory and check the I understand the changing directory does not transfer some resources. Um, so there are some things that won't be transferred for this, but resources that in there, like VMs and stuff, will be. Um, and again, just to reiterate, this is not going to change the billing ownership of this subscription. And basically, once I'm happy with with you know those two settings, I can click on change. You'll see that that subscription will have disappeared from the list. So we get the little alert up here saying I've got no subscriptions, and there you go, it's not showing in the list. Now, because I transferred this from my IBM account to the Microsoft Cloud Blog tenancy, what will have happened in the background is that I will now, my IBM account will be now assigned owner in that directory. So I need to just swap across into um, the Microsoft Cloud Blog directory. And once this refreshes, Excellent. You'll see the little pop up that says the subscription is there. And you'll see this it's picked up here as well. There you go. So I've, trans I've successfully transferred that um, subscription from the IBM tenancy into my Microsoft Cloud Blog tenancy. Um, and it's kept uh, the IBM.com account, so even though there's a guest account in that tenancy as the owner. Um, so at some point, I'll need to go and swap that out and just make it align with the other. Um, security profiles I've put in with this um, the tenancy. But that is basically how to move a subscription from one tenancy to another tenancy. And again, just to reiterate, that doesn't change things like the billing um, ownership for that directory. OK, so thank you very much. And uh, we'll be looking for another episode next week.